Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talking about the anatomy of eye. The first, the eyeball. The shape of the eyeball is aspherical oblate spheroid in shape. The poles of the eyeball are anterior pole and posterior pole. The anterior pole is the central part of the maximum curvature of the anterior curvature. The equator of the eyeball, the equator of the eyeball is lie at the mid plane between the two poles. The volume of the eyeball is about uh, um, 6 ml. The weight of the eyeball is about 7 gram. There are the three coat of the eyeballs. The outer coat, middle and the inner coat. The outer is fibrous coat, middle is vascular, inner is nervous coat. The first is fibrous coat. The fibrous coat is about uh, anterior one six part of the eyeball is transparent which is cornea. The posterior five six part is opaque which is sclera. This is sclera, this is cornea. The cornea is avascular and it has five layers. The anterior layer is epithelium, then Bowman's layer, stroma which is about 90% of cornea, descements membrane, endothelial now sclera sclera is white posterior five six part it has p sclera sclera proper lamina fusca the junction of the both layer is corneoscleral junction which is named at the limbus the second is vascular coat which is uveal tissue which is anterior to posterior is iris ciliary body choroid the these layers supplies the nutrition to the eyeball this is iris iris is has the two muscles dilator pupillae and sphincter pupillae the dilator pupillae is innervated by the sympathetic innervation the sphincter pupillae is innervated by parasympathetic the iris gives the pigment to eyeball that's why the every human have the different color of eye the next is ciliary body which has the two part ciliary muscle and ciliary process the ciliary muscle is contract uh, when contract it change the shape of the lens which help in the accommodation of the reflex next is the ciliary process ciliary process is made up of the cuboidal epithelium which secretes the aqueous humor the last part of the vascular is choroid choroid is pigmented membrane which is we supply the vascular supply to the eyeball it absorbs the any light rays to prevent the reflection and scattering of the light which is coming inside the eye the third is the nervous coat which is retina the retina is uh, made up of the two layers which is outer which is pigmented layer and rich in melanin the inner layer is nervous layer which contain the photoreceptor bipolar neurons ganglionic cells etc the retina is the innermost layer which is incomplete layer covers only the posterior part of the eyeball it consists of all nerve fibers that collect to form the optic nerve major function of the retina to record the image acting as a film and send it to the cortex via the optic nerve retina has the three parts the uh, first part is the optic disc which is called blind spot uh, this is the blind spot blind spot is the point where optic nerve leaves eyeball there is no roads no cones and no nerves at all the th second is macula this is macula the macula is the central vision central part of the macula is uh, called the fovea maxim uh, it contain the maximum cones and best image is formed at this place most sensitive to the light the third part is ora serrata the ora serrata it is and the choroid it is the site for the intravitreal injection it is anterior termination of the retina this is lens which is a crystalline protein help in the formation of image and it is suspended by the zonules of the suspensory ligament which held the lens to their position the eyeball has the two segment anterior segment which is filled with the aqueous humor it has the two chamber anterior chamber which is uh, uh, and the posterior chamber 
the posterior segment which is filled with the vitreous humor the vitreous humor is helping maintain the intraocular pressure and uh, transmit the light rays and it holds the retina in the place this is optic test and of eye i hope you all enjoyed thank you